come to this exercise on uh, discussing some few points and concerns as far as this NPTEL course is concerned. All of us do agree that NPTEL is, a, is an exercise offered by Ministry of Education to enhance the technical learning with high quality education supported by good amount of lectures, examples, exposure to practical considerations and then inviting discussions from the participants to make them learn or to create a very exciting learning experience. IIT Madras is pioneered in doing this and we have been doing this for many, many years. I mean, I should at least say about uh, at least about close to 17, 18 years. As we remember 2012, the first course was originated. Now we are in 23. So consistently, the dynamics course have been offered regularly on alternate cycles of every semester. Structural dynamics is an important core course for many disciplinary students. I can name a few of them. All of you know that, but still I can name a few of them. Before we start discussing, our TAs are online. Pradeepa Murugavel is one TA who has been assessing and helping me in coordinating this course in the Inputel platform. Then Basanagoda Patil, Muttu Selva Kumar. They are all the teaching and research assistants who have been with me in my team of NPTEL for this co course and helping me in streamlining and making the tutorials live and the lessons, corrections, etc. So thanks to all the efforts and uh, Mr. Magesh and uh, other big team in NPTEL helps us to make this course happening hassle-free. So I should thank Dean Academic Course Society Madras and NPTEL coordinator and code chairman of IIT Madras and the director, Professor Kamakuti, IIT Madras for helping me to doing this course in a very hassle-free manner. A few concerns raised by the participants are generally common to almost all the courses, I believe. But I also keep on watching these discussions in the forum and helping to reply you and addressing your concerns. Not all of them 100%, but a majority of them out there. One of the main concerns what people I've raised is using of MATLAB integrated to this course as a tool for teaching. Structural dynamics is common to many disciplines, as I said, civil engineering, structural engineering, aerospace, applied mechanics, mechanical engineering, offshore engineering, naval architecture. Obviously, the application of these sectors are slightly different, but the fundamentals of the course content remain same for almost all of these branches of discipline. And this course, as you all know, is taught in almost all universities, all over the world, I should say, not only in India. And various faculties have contributed in different capacities to improve learning of this particular course for many, many years. When I studied structural dynamics in 1990, which is about 35 years back. Then also I had pioneer teachers who taught me in IIT Delhi. Thanks to the alma mater, whatever experience I learned in teaching and structural dynamics, I owe all of them to my teachers of IIT Delhi and Bharatiya University in Tamil Nadu. So they are very helpful, very top class teachers who helped me learn the subject. Now, the underlying point here is 
we have to learn the content and understand the content. It is not the course which prepares you for any competitive exam or for any PG examination or any interviews. No. This course is a core course which should help you to improve and enhance your learning and understanding because this has got a very major application in research and advanced research. Take any structural system in general. All of them, all of them practically vibrates. All of them do excite response as a time varying process. Some of them may be marginal, some of them may be very large. When it comes to failure of structural systems, you will notice a critical factor which affects and leads to a failure could be the strength and mass and system degradation because of aging, corrosion, material degradation, etc. In addition to its dynamic response behavior under the exciting forces. Unless this is clearly understood and applied to some example problems, one will not be able to appreciate the contents of this course. So thanks to NPTEL coordinators and NPTEL reviewing team, the course content was formulated in such a comprehensive manner. And thanks to all my colleagues in different IITs, IIT Kadakpur, IIC Bangalore, IIT Delhi, Kanpur, Bombay, and other IITs who all teach a parallel content of this course in different semesters and different topics of concerns. We all together, it's a single family, and we all together try to help you to learn this as well as we also reciprocatively learn more and more contents of this course from the questions what you people share in the discussion forum. Coming to the application of dynamics to ocean structures, possibly this is one of the lead course in NPTEL platform because this has been offered for the past 14 years. Approximately, not lesser than at least 20,000 participants have been benefited by this course, both in India as well as in the international platform. At the moment now, I am sharing my experience sitting in a different country. I am in Italy at this moment. I also interact with the Department of Structural Engineering in Italy. And I should tell you, and you have to believe me, that many students and faculty of this institution where I am currently participating, my views, they all do follow NPTEL and this specific course is loud by mostly all of them. And the course has got a very strong features. Especially my experience in teaching this course is very rich. I also authored many textbooks pertaining to the content of this course, which makes me feel proud and confident of teaching this course to all of you. So it is a two-way learning process. I also learn from your experiences and your thoughts, what you share during the discussion for. If any one of them have joined live, if you want to share your experience or any questions to be asked, I'll be happy because all the time I have been speaking and people have not been. So if anybody has joined, I'll be happy. Otherwise, we will invite the views from the TAs because they are TAs and other than that, they have been also learning this course through the NPTEL forum, no doubt about it. So let us invite their views and share their concerns, if at all there were any 
when this course was learned by them through Envital platform. This course has also trained many TAs through these years who have been benefited. The second concern what people generally had is the MATLAB programs. You will appreciate and you will agree strongly that all programs useful for the content of this course have been shared with you in the infital domain. So you have been not asked to write the code, but you have been asked only to run the code with the input related to the example problems. So in this point of time, I must thank MATLAB Incorporation with an Indian representation in Bangalore office for their extensive support to all the participants of NVIDIA program for using MATLAB, downloading the license, helping them with tutorials, answering them the questions while using MATLAB, and so on. I also take this opportunity to thank MATLAB Incorporation for <coughs> permitting me to use these programs and the software outputs in my textbooks. Though I have formally acknowledged use of MATLAB in the textbooks, however, I want to reiterate my gratitude to the MATLAB Incorporation at this moment, without which the success of this course would have been difficult. So <clears throat> I will invite, uh, not by order, but by their voluntary participation from the people who are present, because I have been uh, interacting with Mahesh and Pital, who have been recording my lectures. I will also invite uh, Mr. Mahesh also, if he has anything to say about uh, the procedure or any uh, this thing related to the Invital course, you will be happy. And uh, the TES can volunteer themselves to speak because all the time I have been speaking. So it's better that let us listen to them. They can raise their hand, unmute, and they can speak. Please go ahead. Yes, Pradeepa, go ahead. Uh, hello, sir. Good, good, good afternoon to everyone. Uh, I just want to share a few things in general about this course dynamics. Uh, I have been attending offline classes as well as this uh, NPTEL uh, TA work also I have been doing for the past few years. Uh, the first thing I want to share is, as you always say, sir, uh, dynamics is not to be understood in one cycle. So the very first time when I was uh, uh, taking this course, I have understood like hardly some 15 percentage of the course. But your explanations were very excellent, sir, even though like uh, it, it was uh, uh, not enough for me. Uh, so I again took the course. I think in offline only i took the course two more times after that like today until uh, this moment i've been learning dynamics constantly so the, being a ta and being a learner uh, we have very much enjoyed especially this subject dynamics so dynamics is very very special to us and uh, i think there is one famous quote uh, it says like if you want to find the secrets of the universe you have to think in terms of uh, vibration, frequency, and energy. So I, <laughs> I often uh, I remember this uh, when I was taking dynamics, and it is exactly true, sir. Uh, even though sometimes I might face some problems in my current research, uh, whenever we discuss, as uh, it, it always goes and comes, the solution is in dynamics. I clearly remember, sir, one time you said like all the solution is there in dynamics. So uh, dynamics is not just a course for us. It is a learning of lifetime. That is my uh, opinion. That is what I wanted to share. Uh, thank you, sir. How about uh, dynamics applied to offshore structures? Any speciality or any concerns or any advantages you gain 
by applying dynamics knowledge to offshore structures. What would be the speciality? Why dynamics is inevitable in learning response behavior of offshore platforms? Um, one uh, specific behavior of offshore structures uh, is that uh, we often repeatedly say that they are form dominant designs and uh, uh, to study that to understand that we have to thoroughly understand the concept of dynamics not just hydrodynamics but the response of the structure so it is structural dynamics when the structure is constantly experiencing force it is not a land-based structure offshore structure is something very unique uh, very special because it constantly faces the force, wave, wind, current, and not just in a small scale, and they are of huge, huge scale, and the structure is also very massive. And uh, uh, it, it's uh, so, uh, because of this um, a special kind of case, where we have the force constantly, and the structure has to withstand it, and it has to operate uh, drilling, and all the other uh, operations, uh, we have to make the structure in order to protect itself and protect the components inside. So it, it's, it's very important. It's uh, <laughs> that's what, sir. Okay. What is the advantage or what is the disadvantage of using MATLAB tool to solve dynamics problem? Because you know, generally MATLAB has been a very recent application to uh, courses like dynamic substructures. So people are, do, when you learnt it, did you really feel it was a handicap to learn dynamics or it was an advantageous tool to enhance your learning of dynamics? What was your feeling? Um, MATLAB for me is, uh, to be honest, uh, it was very new for me when I first took the course. Uh, but when I learnt it, when I, when I started to learn dynamics, I found uh, there is a major gap between the manual calculations and what the solutions I needed to arrive for the exact dynamic problem I was dealing with, especially this multi-degree of freedom systems and those solutions uh, which require iteration. Iteration uh, cannot be uh, done with hand calculation. So at that point, I could just write a few lines of MATLAB program and I can use it for the solution. MATLAB is for us, it is an advanced level of calculator. Uh, that is what uh, helping us to solve many complicated uh, problems uh, just because of uh, learning MATLAB as a tool for learning dynamics has helped me a lot in my uh, research also, sir. So whenever I come across some issues or uh, some uh, values I need to know some uh, calculations, I just write a code and I just run it. So for that also it is helpful which, which in turn, uh, we can, I can say confidently that MATLAB with uh, Dynamics, uh, it is a, a wonderful tool. It's, uh, uh, it's beyond my words, sir. It is a helpful tool only, sir. It is a boon, definitely. Okay, good. Now, uh, as reiterating what uh, Ms. Pradipa said, we have been always emphasizing MATLAB as a solution tool, not as a software, which gives you black input and black output. So use MATLAB only as a solution provider. So the solution providing will come only when you write the code. To write a code, you got to understand the theory. So the focus entirely was to make the theory understood completely, then write the code, run the code, then learn how to use the code for solving advanced problems. So by that logic, you will notice that this course has been carefully designed in such a manner that it enhances your learning experience of using MATLAB. So MATLAB was never used as uh, a cursory blockage for transferring the knowledge of understanding dynamics to example problems. So I, that was the objective what I had in mind and NPTEL uh, clearly says that it should be the most convenient way of teaching. It should not be a formal way of classroom. That was the order of the day when NPTEL was launched. 
So because Saint Petal is doing online classes, online mode, people may not have all facilities. For example, they may not have textbooks for referring. They may not have uh, computational tools like software, advanced software for solving the problems. So if NPTEL again reiterates the same and uh, makes them to go back to the libraries and the use of software, etc., it creates a gap of learning. So with that kept in mind, the program or the structure of the course has been carefully designed that most of the material what is required for your learning is available to you in the course content itself. Though for additional learning, you go for referring textbooks and all the MATLAB programs useful for you is already been given to you and you have been using them. And I have also illustrated how to use them during the lectures. So that was the idea to my uh, larger perspective, the idea was successful in implementing. But uh, yes, when you learn a new tool as a computational tool, when you even take a calculator, Many of us may not know all functions and buttons of a calculator. If you take an advanced program with calculator, many of them have not even tried. I don't know how many of you really know how to invert a three by three matrix within a calculator. Have you ever tried? I don't know. Have you ever plotted any sine, cosine, exponential functions on the screen of a calculator? I mean, these functions are available in programmable calculators. So calculator as a tool, we may not know. Mobile is an Android tool. We may not know all the functions. So it's true. When you learn a new tool, it will take time and you have to make friendly with the tool to use it as a comfortable objective for your learning purpose. Nowadays, calculators are not a burden. Uh, if you want to do calculations, you will take a calculator and try to do that. Similarly, I want MATLAB to be used as an experiencing tool. And I am through this forum requesting MathWorks to continuously extend the support to all the, all the NPTEL learners and participants for a practically infinite period so that they become addicted to use MATLAB for learning purposes. Okay, that's a good idea. I'll come back to you, Pradeepa, maybe after some time. Uh, anybody else who wants to share their experience? Hello, sir. I'm yes, Patil. Go ahead. Yes. Yes. Yes, sir. Uh, my experience in uh, after attending the, the offline dynamics class and NPTEL course is, so to learn dynamics, uh, for example, at least 5% of the dynamics, we should, means it's not, uh, we understood everything in one go. We have to first attend uh, offline classes, online classes. Still, uh, we, we will be in a notion that we either understood something or still there are confusions so in order to learn thoroughly there are research papers which will help us published by our professor so uh, what uh, we can do in order to learn something out of it so we can refer research papers and apply our concepts and try to validate the problem given in the papers so that we will come to know whether concept understood by us is proper and results what uh, uh, which are published in the paper are uh, we are whether we are getting or no uh, such uh, uh, practices will help us in learning matlab thoroughly uh, uh, matlab as well as uh, dynamics thoroughly and uh, coming to matlab uh, as uh, my own experience uh, when when we try using other tools like excel uh, we face some errors uh, like uh, uh, first thing is it is time consuming and uh, in order to save time consuming and in order to uh, get accurate answers, MATLAB will help us in uh, uh, in quick uh, quick solution and as well as accurate solution. And also uh, writing our own code helps us to learn again the dynamics only. Means whenever we get error, we start digging uh, and we start uh, finding out the solution. In that, we will refer again our notes, class notes, uh, courses, uh, uh, course materials and other textbooks in all these process we will learn new new things it's like practicing structural engineering is a daily process where every day new challenges will encounter and we will try to solve it similarly dynamics is like that only uh, it's not that one semester we studied and we understood it's a continuous process sir. so and uh, i'm still practicing i'm still understanding and uh, and also there are problems solved and given in the textbook of SIRS. Uh, so we can modify, for example, 
uh, one problem is given we can little bit modify the boundary conditions and start deriving its equation of motion in that process we will first become perfect with the problem given and by altering little bit we will learn how to derive equation of motion if once the equation of motion is correct then obviously the response what we are uh, targeting will be correct so these all processes uh, is gaining I means helping in helping me in gaining the confidence in dynamics slowly so others can also uh, if you can do like this uh, it's good uh, because okay. uh, we are good in dynamics yes sir yeah you you are already a faculty in an institution yes sir and you are a kp scholar with a pmr of yes selected scholar in department of civil engineering at iit madras so when you have been a faculty teaching some courses in your own institution yes. how was nptel useful for uh, enhancing your teaching skills and how this particular course if at all you have been using it was useful for your teaching and your students yes yes sir of course nptel was very useful when i was teaching because uh, the uh, syllabus what we used to follow was very limited and in order to explore more and in order to add the add uh, something advanced in the syllabus we uh, we were referring to nptel syllabus nptel courses and when we are adding something to the syllabus we have to understand what we are adding and to understand what we are adding nptel courses uh, helped us uh, in framing understanding and delivering the uh, content sir so uh, we used to suggest our uh, students in uh, in that organization that uh, whatever we followed we used to give them reference links and they were also following and they were uh, coming to us uh, uh, with some feedback sir and also some doubts we were clearing those and again in order to clear those doubts we were again referring to the lecture notes we were understanding it was a continuous two way process something they understood they explained us and we we understood we explained us so nptel was really helpful in that process so reiterating the statements what ms pradeepa and mr patil said pradeepa said she was learning dynamics repeatedly online offline so now you know friends who are listening to this video who have missed out the chance of interacting with me live doesn't matter you have to learn this course consistently many number of times obviously when you are registered for an offline course somewhere in some university you will be learning or you will be having opportunity to learn this course only once so later on if you have subsequently any doubts then it will become difficult for you to become enter into the learning process so in petal repeatedly every sem odd semester transcribes this course in nptel platform at iit madras and the the objective was to make this course repeatedly available to almost all students and registered participants to listen to this course repeatedly not for the first time you have heard this from the friends that repeated learning will only make you understand this course so never get completely satisfied that you have learned this course once and you have attended nptel once and you have learned this course no no register for this course repeatedly every semester make your students and friends register for this course repeatedly every semester you may undergo the same course content you may wonder sir the course content is not changing why we should register again you know it is actually sharpening your understanding the course content has been structured in such a manner all basic concepts have been strongly populated in the contents of the course the doubts generally will come only on the basic concepts and repetitive learning of this course through nptel will clarify your or will make you understand the concepts basic more clear when it comes to application process of research or any example problem any consultancy problem any industrial problem then of course it is your challenge to use the concepts of basics to the advanced situation that's number 1 and number 2 as uh, one of the uh, friends said very clearly the repetitive process helps you to learn the course better the second content is the nptel has been structured in such a manner that a very large course content 
have been given to you in a structured manner. For example, there are 12 weeks. Within 12 weeks, you get the full course content. Many of you have experienced that sometimes because of paucity of time, because of paucity of learning processes, not successful, the full course content desired by the faculty may not be taught within a specific 12 weeks time. So some topics would have been faster, would have not been covered in detail, etc. The input is a structured course. 12 weeks are equally distributed with the weightage, which has been reviewed by a very strong professional committee. And therefore, if you follow this course for a full 12 week scheme, you are bound to get the complete learning process of the full course content of this course. So that's how this becomes helpful for you to achieve the completeness of learning at least. Okay, so that's what. Um, now we will also like to hear some new additional points and their experiences from other people like, uh, who are left and they can volunteer themselves to talk. Yes, please go ahead. Yes, sir. Actually, I'm attending this course. Your voice is very, very feeble. You've got to either talk louder or you've got to keep your mic closer to your mouth. Yes, sir. Uh, good afternoon, sir. Actually, I'm attending this course in eight times, sir. Four times in NPTEL, sir. Four times in our offline classroom, sir. This course is very essential to understand the dynamic behavior of the different kind of offshore section. And, and this course is very helpful for me to do my entire research work. Uh, the, my entire research work program is based upon dynamic research work areas. So, this uh, course is very helpful to do my uh, uh, doctoral programs in uh, uh, different various universities. The, this course is uh, yeah, covered various of topics such as introduction of uh, entire offshore sectors and the different environmental loads. So, I, I use this uh, knowledge into my research work area based upon that. Uh, I got some good publications and also. It will help me full part, full part to me to do the further research in dynamics. Sir. This is very fascinating and very interesting area for the beginners also. Sir. It will help for help for master master students and then uh, uh, PhD students and then postdoctoral students also. Sir. Many of the faculties also uh, will get some good interesting topics uh, such as. Uh, uh, fluid structure interaction, other than uh, different kind of timings, uh, different structures like uh, new generation platforms of tracer tops, articulated nerves. They will learn new interesting topics uh, through our courses. Uh, further, uh, we cover the various of uh, MATLAB programs. Where with uh, this MATLAB programs are very helpful to to simplify the complex problem, complex problem into simple problem. Based upon that, we will get good design and then analysis of the various kind of structures. Further, uh, the, we discussed a lot of uh, response spectrums in our uh, courses. They will be helpful too. But it is very new for the lot of uh, lot of people, so it will get some good uh, knowledge for the uh, learners. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. So summarizing what uh, this gentleman said for the benefit of the viewers and listeners and learners and colleagues who are also listening to this video through YouTube platform. It has been heard that the course content and dynamics as a course is very useful to trigger a good value of research. Coming to the specific application part, when you have got a different form, geometric form, for which you are going to determine the dynamic characteristics. Even for example, mass, the weight of the system, which is a very different geometric shape and the stiffness of the system, which is a complex phenomena because it has got interactions from the member connections, from the member dimensions and the structural form. And of course, the material. So getting all of them complicated in one. And nowadays with the recent advancements in composites and functionally graded materials, without dynamic knowledge and without experimental applications on dynamics, 
it will be very difficult for you to estimate the stiffness, mass and damping features of a given structural system. Of course, in Impetal, we are not able to do the experimental component of dynamics as a part of this course. I will request Impetal through this forum to enable or permit me to add few more lectures on experimental applications to structural dynamics, which will be offered parallel along with this course in the next cycle onwards. So I will definitely put this appeal to the chairman in Pitel to allow me to add the experimental contents also into the course content as a part of this. So it helps the learners also to see experiments and then learn through experiments. So you have heard that research is also strengthened by the course content and NPTEL helps people all over the world to do a very good capacity building in this. I am not a pioneer in dynamics, but I have also added some value to the course content of this particular structured course on dynamic structural dynamics. So with that confidence, I can tell you the course contents and the teaching modules and the tutorials have been planned in such a manner that it enhances learning for sure. And I would definitely appeal to all the people through this forum that do not stop learning dynamics with one go of your learning. Repeatedly register for this course under NPTEL and repeatedly keep on learning this as long as you get completely bored and you got by hearted the whole content of this course offered in NPTEL. As long as you don't do that, keep on registering for this course repeatedly and tell your friends, colleagues, students, researchers to register for this course because this, this kind of exercise which is led as a leader by IIT Madras is a very, very fascinating exercise. We want to take the toughest possible teaching to the simplest possible form through NPTEL completely free of cost. There's a mission of our director, Professor Kamakoti, and we as a faculty members stand by him to make his mission and vision as a dream come true. So please tell your friends, tell your colleagues and researchers, etc., to use NPTEL repeatedly. And I would personally appeal, use this course and register for this course repeatedly. Learn our books, use our books for quoting in your classrooms, etc. We will have one more uh, member joining here. We will request Tenaman to also give his views about the course content and about NPTEL experience and about using dynamics, sexual dynamics as a tool for his research, for his learning, etc. Yes, sir. Good morning, sir. Uh, this is my third cycle. I'm learning the dynamics course through online and offline mode, which is a very wonderful course I, I was learned in my career. Uh, in the structural point of view, I'll, I'll learn a lot of things in terms of uh, application in my research works, like FGM and uh, <coughs> steel structures that are not based on how the dynamically the behavior will happen. The basics I was learned here, and especially for the MATLAB course. MATLAB is such a wonderful tool in this course, MATLAB coding, which was pre uh, everything will, will be given to the professors to learn from the basics. He's teaching to that uh, how to use the MATLAB code in the dynamics point of view, and how the problems will be solving, and how the spectrums and response analysis get it from that code, which will be uh, the professor will make the dynamics course is much easier than what uh, learn from others from uh, other mediums uh, and i i'm learning from uh, i was very um, average student i'm learning uh, this course for second time first time i, I attend this course i'm not getting full uh, full content of that course i'm not able to understand anything i learned something only uh, second time i learn it i attend some basic knowledges and keep adding my knowledge third time i now start for this is my fourth cycle uh, 
from online <coughs> now my knowledge is very gradually increased due to that learning of matlam code and applied to that uh, structural point of views and the dynamics uh, and uh, and it is very useful to my research and in not only in the uh, uh, research only it it will be used in the further applications i was working in futures also such a wonderful course and uh, the questions and the answers answer sections uh, the questions set up by the professor which practically uh, all the questions are practically oriented we can think over it and answer the questions like that the professor setting the questions that is also i'm really interested to answer the questions by all the tutorials i never missed that to any tutorials from professor setting uh, in that period of time uh, i eventually attend all the tutorials that only i am able to understand the basics of the structure, dynamics uh, that uh, that's only few points that i am adding so that is very okay. wonderful wonderful course i am suggested to all of you learn this course so as professor said uh, uh, repeatedly then only you can get the full knowledge of the course that is my view sir okay adding the summary what uh, one of the uh, ta said <clears throat> consistent learning do not try to just download the video and uh, hear it once attend all the classes solve all the tutorials repeatedly you may know the answer but still solve them repeatedly this will make you understand this course wonderful i am telling you friends when i did my post graduation such form of nptel or getting exercises and learning from enhanced teaching facility was not available we were constrained to learn only through the classroom modes or from the books but nptel through the dynamic implementation of this program by our former director professor baskar ramurthy and the current director professor kamakoti we have been consistently and trying very very hard to make this to reach the maximum number of people not only in india but also in abroad you will be also happy to know the structural dynamics course which has been offered by me also has a lot of foreign national students and faculty it will be very very glad that you have got an international classroom virtual classroom which will enhance your experience of being in the classroom you will never get this kind of classroom anywhere in your life okay so join this classroom every cycle and be with us all the time i am sure that we are giving you enough time to respond to your discussion forum and i will also strengthen this further in the coming cycles by adding more experimental studies and of course my email id is available to all of you you can also write to me in person for doubts what you have many of you have been writing and you can continue to do that i will try to respond to you and help you out and other than of uh, uh, online teaching more you are most welcome to also consult professors of iit madras through the central forum for your uh, job prospects phd registrations post doc registrations Uh, conducting some short term courses conducting faculty development programs or uh, enhance the strength of learning in your institution through contributions from professors of iit madras and all iits in the country through this i also want to make an appeal that try to stay continuously interacted with us and that's going to help both ways not only us but also to you both ways we are we are looking forward for a contribution usefully and fruitfully from all of you in different capacities as students as faculty as industrial consultants as practicing engineers as advanced researchers as post doctoral fellows not only in india but all over the world so that will definitely make us more feel proud of achieving this vision and mission of npetal in general i am particular in making a greedy statement that i will become very popular in terms of delivering the contents of this course all over the world so i want you to join and help me to strengthen this mission repeated every cycle as long as you never get bored of this learning exercise and you would 
definitely see the tutorials or thoroughly designed in such a manner that you will be able to answer them by referring to the course contents and the textbooks given in the course. The examination, of course, is a tool to test your understanding. So many of you would feel that exam papers are slightly tough. Exam papers will not demand any MATLAB execution. They all will be handwritten solutions. So therefore, you should also practice solving the problems by hand and verifying them using MATLAB codes. So here we are emphasizing on two parallel development tracks, analytical and computational tools for learning dynamics. So that will be a very interesting exercise for you. And I will also add the third component of learning dynamics to experiments, a few lectures, which I will strengthen this in the coming cycle of offering of this course. And I will request in Twitter to help me in doing this. I'll personally appeal to the director and the program coordinator to help me to doing this. So, okay. And uh, I should finally thank the NPTEL team, uh, Lavanya, Mahesh, Bharati, and of course the chairman co, uh, uh, Andrew Tangaraj and uh, uh, <clears throat> other colleagues of IIT Madras who were helping and consistently uh, supporting us in the whole process. And uh, Dean Academic Courses, Pratap Haridas, would have been instrumental. Uh, Professor Ramamurthy would have been supportive in doing this. And all my colleagues in the Department of Ocean Engineering who have been also helping me and supporting me. Professor Nellay also, then Sanasiraj, Professor Murali, I mean, uh, all people have helped me in different facets of transcribing this course in a useful content, a joint effort. So we thank all of them through this forum so that uh, the benefit, if it is, reaches all of them. And by and large, I thank all of you who have been participating in this course tirelessly bearing with us the hitches and glitches and then enhancing your learning and propagating this knowledge further down the line to your students, to your colleagues, to your friends and researchers. Thank you. We formally close this discussion. If there are any other questions and concerns, please raise your hand. Otherwise, I will request Mahesh to formally close this session of interaction. Okay, Mr. Magesh, are you connected? Uh, sorry, sir, can I enter the session, sir? Uh, yeah, uh, are you connected? Yes, okay. Now we have interactions with people, and this will be uh, put online available, and the recorded video can also be seen in, in YouTube, right? Yes, sir. Already is uh, in uh, going live, sir, in YouTube. Right, but this will stay in YouTube for a longer time. They can see later also, right? It will be uh, available always. Always. Okay. NPTEL. Okay. NPTEL so, any any point you want to add from the NPTEL side or any recording side? Any any point? No, sir. Nothing, sir. Okay. So we can can we close this meeting? Yes, sir. Sure. So we'll meet again at two o'clock for the no, next. Sir. Course. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you. thank you, friends. I want all of you to join back. In fact, friends, you can also invite others, Shaiba, Pradiban, uh, the other people also, our team, to please join. Okay? okay. Tell them. Thank you, yeah. Thank you.